What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Cosmic Chick. So, what I'm going to be doing today is, of course, you see this little situation on my head is not looking too good. So, I am about to put these passion twists in my hair and in the back. I am going to crochet them in and I have two packs of these that already came twisted and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use the pre-twisted um, on the crochet side or if I'm going to use the I have the hair, how it looks here, before it is twisted. And by the way, this is Lulu Tress. And it is in the water wave, I believe. Yeah, water wave. And how I found the right kind of hair is First, I just looked for this here in my beauty supply store, and then I turned it to the back, and it took me right here, made with Water Wave. So I just looked for, um, not even the same brand, I just looked for uh, different, I mean, not different, this type of, well, this type of hair. <laughs> Excuse me. This type of hair, uh, just loose, not braided because I am going to leave the front out because I want those to look like natural and not that crochet look. So anyways, besides all of this, you see the kind of hair that I'm going to be using. I'll be using Murray's Edge Wax. Some Gorilla Snot and uh, softy extra hold so stay tuned and see how this is gonna turn out because this is my first time but anyways i'm about to get started To begin, I parted my hair, sectioning out the leave out part, and then continued to put some French braids straight back in the back, and I'll secure the ends with a needle and thread. And your braids do not have to be neat. Mine are definitely some um, struggle braids, but I just suggest that you make sure they're tight. And this is how I twisted the loose hair one side, which is this side. I made a little kinky and then just double strand twisted it down. And I like to stretch one side so that way it gives it a certain look. So I'm going to take, then this is one of the strands that I twisted myself. And I'm going to take my crochet needle and I'm just going to insert it into one of the braids in the back. Hook. <laughs> Hook the hair closed is a little wet. I'm not sure if you guys can see, 
but I'm gonna close the latch and I'm gonna bring it right back through where I inserted it. And then I left like a little loop. And I'm just gonna take the hair, pull it through in a knot tight. And voila. Now watch me get to work. Okay, so I'm at the part now where I'm making my parts as neat as possible. And then I'm gonna section off um, the pieces that I'm going to insert the passion hair into. And I'm applying the Murray's Edge Wax on every side of my section or plait and then I'm going to braid uh, down about seven times to just secure the piece. So I am at the part where I'm adding in the passion hair to my natural plaits or sections. So once I've inserted the hair with the needle, I'll knot it, take a loose, um, the little section that I braided off on my natural hair and apply some of the Murray's wax. A generous amount because you don't want your natural texture to show through the twist and then simply just twist in your natural hair into the passion twist here and you'll just do that all the way down and I'm also gonna go back and show you guys with the needle um, how I did that Okay, so I am almost finished. I have about four or five more braids left. And I did use some of the pre-twisted hair, but I found it easier doing this part with this hair because I have to unravel this to secure it on the root of uh, my braid. So I'm just gonna show you how I did it really quickly. Take the um, loose hair and separate one side. I loop it around my finger and give it about a good five or six, maybe seven or eight turns. <laughs> and then keep it by the loop. 
take the crochet needle, put it about halfway in between the part. Carrots on pull it through and did you I hope you guys were able to see that but I'm gonna reverse this just in case you did it so once you put it through the middle of your part you're gonna have this end and then this end you're gonna take this end hold it open a little as wide as you need to to fit that part through pull it right through and then after you have tightened it your neck's gonna want to um, intertwine your natural hair into the weave Remember to apply a generous amount of the gel that you're using. And then you'll just twist, two strand twist, that is, all the way down. Yes, I love them. This is the finished product and I will definitely be getting my wear out of these for the next two weeks. So guys, I did use all four packs of hair. And I'm glad that I didn't run out. It was just enough and I got a big hit. So yeah, that was perfect. And it took me about three hours, but I got to say I am like literally loving these things. So thank you guys so much for checking out how I achieved this look and watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe, share, comment below. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. But until the next video, I will see you guys.